up everyone? Welcome back. If this is your first time here, make sure you like and subscribe. So this week we're gonna try something a little different and I wanted to share with you guys a quick drink recipe that I make to help with body heat. So especially here in the summer, this summer particularly in Southern California, we've had such a heat wave with all the fires and the excessive heat. This is something that really gets me through the summers and I make it in the morning and it's made such a difference. So I first started making this maybe about eight years ago when I was living in Mumbai. And let me tell you, the summers in Mumbai are freaking hot, humid, and my body just could not stand it. One thing I loved about growing up half Indian is that my mom and her relatives always had these little Indian home remedy hacks for whatever it was, whether it was a skin ailment or my stomach wasn't feeling good, there was always some home remedy or some herb or something that you could do to help you feel better. So I thought it'd be fun to share on my channel some of these things that I've used and tried over the years. So this week particularly, I wanted to talk about body heat because it has been hot in Southern California. We've been experiencing a heat wave. I'm sweating. I don't know about you, but if you're someone that has ever experienced body heat, this drink has really helped me. What do I mean by body heat? If you've ever experienced any of the following, maybe you feel like a heat radiating from the bottom of your feet, or you have trouble falling asleep at night, you get really tired during the heat, Maybe you wake up in the middle of the night or in the morning and you're drenched in sweat or the person sleeping next to you tells you that you feel like a furnace. If any of these things sound familiar, then you probably have body heat. Um, you'll also know I have felt like this my entire life, especially in the summer months, my body just does not do well in the heat. So this has really helped me. So this drink only consists of three main ingredients. and I'm gonna tell you guys what they are and show you how to make it, so keep watching. The star of the show would be the subja or tukmaria seeds, which are actually basil seeds. Now these are seeds from the Thai basil plant, not the holy basil plant. They're similar in size to chia, and when they get wet, they form a kind of gelatinous texture like tapioca, but still have a crunchy interior. You might have seen them in Asian grocery stores and Asian drinks and beverages, and they're also included in a popular Indian beverage called faluda. They're commonly used in Chinese and Ayurvedic practices as they have digestive health aid properties and also cooling properties. So today we're gonna to use it for its cooling property. I generally take about a tablespoon or a spoonful of the subja seeds and I add them to a cup or a bowl of some sort and add water. Now for the basil seeds to form that gelatinous texture, they need to be submerged in water for about 15 to 20 minutes. So I'm gonna add some water and set this aside. The next ingredient I'm gonna use is aloe vera. This is great for your skin. When consumed, it helps reduce inflammation, it can aid in digestion, and it's rich in nutrients. So I'm just gonna cut off a little piece of aloe vera. Be careful because it can be pungent, so if you use too much, just be aware of that. And what you wanna do is make sure you cut or scoop out the interior part of it. I'm gonna go ahead and add that into my Vitamix. The next ingredient we're using is cucumbers. Cucumbers are cooling, they're great for digestion, and it adds a really nice refreshing flavor to this beverage. So I'm gonna cut up maybe a half a cucumber into chunks and add this into my Vitamix. Now if you look at the subja seeds, which have been sitting for about 15 to 20 minutes, you can tell that they formed that gelatinous texture and they kind of look like chia seeds. So I'm gonna set this aside and blend the drink first. I like to add some ice and then make sure you add enough water and then go ahead and turn on your blender. You can use any type of blender you have. I'm just gonna use my Vitamix. Now that it's all blended up, I'm gonna come over and pour it into my glass. And if you want, you can add the subja seeds directly into your beverage, but I'm just gonna strain them out and then add the seeds to the beverage separately and you can see that the seeds are inside the drink. The seeds don't really have that much of a distinct taste, I don't think. This beverage is really refreshing and I can't tell you guys how much this helps with body heat. So that was it, it was so simple and easy. There you go, it was that easy. If you want, you can add celery or other greens to it. I like to do aloe, cucumber, and the subja seeds because all three of those ingredients are great for cooling down your body. It has a great refreshing taste. Um, it just kind of tastes like a refreshing cucumber water. You can see the seeds floating around in there and they don't really have a taste. I drink this every day during the summer on an empty stomach and it has helped so much. So if you're someone that's like me and you experience a lot of body heat and maybe you just are tired of waking up sweating and you just wanna cool down yourself internally, I highly recommend you get these seeds. If you go to any local Indian store, they'll probably know what Subja or Tukmaria seeds are, but I'll also share a link for the seeds on Amazon in the description so you can order them. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please let me know if this was helpful and I'll see you next time.